getting his face lifted the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's my fix, Cigars? my supplier. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we won't mention that. No. <laughs> it's not is that camera still on? Yeah. Yeah. There's more cancer from diet than there is from tobacco. Yeah. That, all, that is a fact. Which, that's K U Z Y K. Would you be offended if I got your age? And that's what you say. <laughs> and I, I, I've got good survival techniques too when it comes to dealing with women. Uh, quick shot if you put together. That's oh shit! Sure. Can I lose the glasses? Oh uh, yeah. This morning. I'm Debbie Wee from The Standard and from the Sun Media Na Niagara Newspaper Group. And on behalf of the One Director, Gail Baird, and her committee, thank you for such a great show of support here once again as we join in the fight together to find a cure for breast cancer. Throughout the year, I have the honor of hosting and seeing Good stuff, girls. many Good different stuff. charitable and community yeah. events. The this one always holds such a great, very special standard. place Save in my heart. It's a day of such uplifting like and positive nice energy here hat. in Niagara. Okay, it is also a day of honoring <laughs> memories <laughs> and paying tribute to those fighting for the disease. Oh, yeah, that was and it's truly really a day of celebrating life. For 18 years now, the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation has brought together Canadians across the country, uniting them in the CIBC Run for the Cure to raise funds for research and to raise importance of, of about the awareness of the importance of early detection. Because this message is successfully reaching men and women of all ages because of this run, more people today survive breast cancer than ever before. And that's the good news. The better news is that one day soon we will find a cure for this disease. And that is what today is about. Each of us playing a role and a part in helping find a cure for breast cancer. The foundation started over 20 years ago by people, with people, just like you, who wanted to make a difference for those affected by breast cancer. Those women wanted to influence the scientific research agenda by raising money exclusively for breast cancer. Now the foundation is the largest dedicated funder of breast cancer research in Canada. Because of all of you here today, that progress carries on. Here are just a few examples. Breast cancer awareness is higher than it's ever been. Improvements in screening and treatment have led to a significant improvement in survival rates. And unlike 22 years ago, two-thirds of the women diagnosed with breast cancer in Canada today will live through it. Please give yourself a big round of applause because the community has already come so far in support of the future without breast cancer. So thank you. Right here in Niagara Region, you have raised over $300,000 just last year. And it's making a real difference in your community. So again, big round of applause. There is a big Can you give me an example of where that $300,000 went to Niagara? A cure. We're going to give Dan Hall a second to call everyone out to the starting line. Good morning. Uh, I've known Debbie for about seven years and my name is Dan Hill. So I uh, uh, welcome you all this morning. Uh, we're going to get started. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Club Sony's team for being here. My team, absolutely outstanding. Uh, my wife is a breast cancer survivor, Luann, and we really appreciate your support today. If we could start with all the runners, Anybody that's uh, going to run, please come to my left, through the gate, go to your left, go to your left again, and the thirty line is over there. So if you're running, you got uh, two minutes to get out on the, on the route, and then we'll start the, uh, the walkers. Thank <laughs> you. 
by the time we get up there. for the cure. Yes. One hour, eight minutes or something? Is that what it was? I think so, somewhere around there. It was further, it was further than you think. Oh, 